Hi there, welcome to Dear Sugar Sue. Today's topic is, I lost all of my friends along with my ex. So dealing with a breakup is always horrible. Like, how often is it a good thing? Even if you're the instigator of the breakup, there's still a lot of stuff that goes with it. There's a lot of heartbreak, there's a lot of memories, a lot of division of assets together, children, all sorts of things can come into play. So it's really not a very comfortable position to be in at any time. So one of the toughest things that comes with a breakup is the things that you lose that aren't just about you and your partner. It could be friends, family, all these kind of things that you had as a couple and you shared together. Unfortunately, people pick sides. And it's not because they want to, especially in a family situation, it just makes it easier. It's not because they, they don't care about you or they don't want to see you. It's just sometimes, in the, especially in the beginning of a breakup, you have to kind of put yourself back and just take a look at why maybe they're pulling back. It's because they feel that it's going to be a conflict more with your ex than with you. So I can understand why a lot of the times things change in the dynamics of the family, especially family. But when it comes to the friendships that you have together, if you met the friends through your partner, then that is a pretty much a given that they will tend to go and sort of hang around with that side, your, your ex. But when it comes to you meeting them as a couple and you've brought these friends in while you've been together, that's when it becomes a lot more hurtful. So many things we don't see at the time when we go through a breakup, we just don't. We just feel so alone and we feel even lonelier when our friends aren't supportive of us as well. And when they choose sides, which is what it feels like when all of a sudden they're not contacting us anymore. I always feel that it's really important to maintain a good part of who you are before you meet your partner. because. When you have a breakup or you have a situation, maybe a medical scenario that happens, you want to have people that are supportive around you. And it doesn't necessarily mean those supportive people are going to be friends with your ex. These are people that could be in your life for a very long time that you've maintained a friendship with. It's very, very crucial in my books anyway, that you don't let go of all of your, your past and, and the people that you've allowed in your life before you met your significant other because those people will probably always be there for you. Superficial ones, not so much. And these could be people you met through your ex. Maybe you're only with your ex for a year or two. So that's not a huge time to be um, entwined with somebody as a friendship. So if you keep maintain and hold on to the people that have been in your life for a long time, you'll always have those people to, to rely on when you are going through hard times and vice versa for you to be there for them too. So don't let go of, of your own life when you're in a relationship. This happens so often that when people break up, they, they're sitting there going, oh my God, I've got nothing left. And the reason they have nothing left is they let a lot of their own stuff go when they met this person. Hold on to your identity and to who makes you who, you. Because people that are in your life and that are, you're surrounding yourself with are a part of who you are. And they should always be a part of who you are unless they're not healthy people to be with. So try not to let this situation take a hold of your self-esteem so that it's really hard for you to get over this breakup. Look at it that, okay, those people left with my ex. They're all similar people. I didn't get along with my ex. We had situations. Those people go with them. They're friends first. That's okay. And start finding your new path because you're not meant to be on that path with that person. You're writing to me because you're upset that you feel alone. It's up to you to bring people back towards you that are the right people, that aren't going to abandon you when times get tough. These people are going to be there for you through thick and thin. And that's why it's very important to hold on to a part of who you are, regardless of who you're in a relationship with. It's always good to have some separate interests, separate friendships and things like that. Because when push comes to shove, they'll be the ones that are knocking on your friend door and bringing a bottle of wine over. That's the people you want around you. So in closing to this, I would just suggest you get out as much as you possibly can in meeting new people. Get into mingle situations, whether it's trivia night at your local pub, whether it's a meetup.com group that goes for walks, a hiking group. 
just find people that you're compatible with, that you have interests together and start your new path because you're meant to be on a different road than you were before because it wouldn't be this easy for everybody to walk away if it was the right place for you. So thanks for listening. Thanks for your question. Please uh, contact me anytime at dearcybersue at gmail.com. Leave your questions below this video, like the video, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye-bye.